Voices of 2020, really uh, something I've enjoyed. I've only done a couple of these interviews, but to talk to some seniors uh, about their senior year and how they're managing and what their future plans are. And taking uh, her valuable time this morning is Jalen Riddick from Western Branch High School. And Jalen, thank you very much for uh, taking your time today. Uh, some senior year, huh? Um, yeah, it's very special. You could say that. <laughs> Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, what's been the sort of the, the most challenging thing or the worst thing about this pandemic? I think the most challenging thing is trying to get ready for college. I would have to say because I had um, a tour from my honors college and everything kind of just shut down. I was like, I haven't visited my campus yet at all. Oh. So it was kind of a hard thing to deal with because, you, you know, as a student, you want to make the right choice. You want to make sure that you feel right in the place because it will be your home for the next four years especially if you are living on campus right. so that was very hard for me but luckily my aunt lives very close to the campus that I'm, I'm attending so we did like a drive-by but I didn't get a chance to see the inside facilities but the outside looks pretty so I did my research and everything on it but it's still hard to kind of feel that connection with it if I didn't have the chance to have the tour like some people have had the opportunity to yeah and so what college is that George Mason University oh, okay. in Fairfax. Okay, great. Yeah. My daughter starts at William Mary in the fall. And, you know, even now, they're not 100% sure what that's going to look like. So, I mean, that's kind of trying to picture what your fall is going to be like. I mean, that's kind of tough, too, isn't it? Yeah, there's a whole lot of uncertainty there. They just sent me my honors saying that we could pick our classes. I'm like, I don't even know what to do right now. But I'd, I have a um, meeting with my mother later on after she's done with her <laughs> working to see what we could do but it is is very difficult they don't even know to be honest so yeah what have you uh what have you learned how have you grown as a result of this challenge I've kind of learned to be more patient with things in the beginning at first they said you know we're just gonna have this Monday off you know we'll be back and I'm like nah no we're not I, I don't think it'll go away in a day um, I found out that that Monday was just for planning to see what the teachers can do to help the students who do not have access to the internet at home. Right. So after that, it was two weeks. And I was like, yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Just go ahead and say the rest of the year, <laughs> honestly. And, and that's um, exactly what they did too, didn't they? Right. And yeah. I think the hardest thing for me would have to be, you know, some teachers, they have their work on Sundays and they say, you know, this is due on next Sunday. Some teachers, they give it to me Monday and it's due Friday. So it's keeping all in touch with each teacher to know, you know, what they require, what day are you going to get this work and what day is it actually due? Because you don't want to get them mixed up due dates and you send one teacher was supposed to be, yeah. So um, I just got an email before actually I, I logged into here saying that I'm done with my government. So that's the very last credit that I needed. So I'm all done. Okay. All so, right. well, that's got to feel good. It, it does. Yeah, right. Uh, so tell me something, uh, Jalen, what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about, like, about people, mainly. The field that I want to be in is forensic psychology, and I'm more about people, their feelings, their mind. Um, I just want to be able to help people that maybe aren't able to help themselves. You know, I think we all need help sometimes. I need help, you need help, and I want to be able to help people who may not understand fully who they are and sometimes they may commit crimes unknowingly like hey this may be wrong and I want to be able to help the government as well to understand you know yes these people are doing crimes yes this is bad but there's more to it it's not just a silver line that you have to look at there's things that you have to look at deeper. Wow so from your vantage point today what does life look like when you're 30? Okay, so I plan, I already have this planned out. So um, I plan on being a um, pretty much a forensic psychologist in the FBI or the CIA. I've thought about living closer to Washington, D.C. because I feel like it's, it's the best spot for me, but if not, that's okay. Um, but wherever I feel like I feel most I can help people, I don't want to just be going to work every day and just not helping people because that's not what I want to do with my life. So I want to be able to help whoever needs help and help my community the best way I can. I plan on, I've, I've done scholarships. People have been very kind to me with scholarships. So I plan to have um, scholarships in my name in order to help um, college students or, you know, high school seniors transitioning. Um, 
so any way that, like I said, I can help people and be of use, that's just where I plan to be at. Wow, that's very impressive, someone your age. Um, if, if you could give advice, and you can, uh, to your classmates, to other seniors right now, what, what would your advice be to them? I would probably say don't give up hope or don't get so caught up in the fact that we do not have a graduation. I know it does sound, you know, I don't want to say boohoo. I know it does sound sad, but at the end of the day, nobody wants to disrespect you any kind of way. They, they recognize what you're doing. You know, some kids, you know, they have the 4.2 GPA for, or however above 4.1, but there's kids who still have the 2.7 and they're still very important. They work hard just as much as the kids with the 4.2. And I do feel bad that we don't have a graduation, but I feel like the school system, they are giving alternatives to it. It may not be the best, but at the end of the day, you can't really make everybody happy. So it's just the realization that they're not saying we do not recognize you because some teachers are sending out emails saying, hey, you know, we're proud of you, you know, keep on going. They're trying to keep in touch with everybody saying, you know, you've been here for four years, we understand. Um, but I just don't want them to get sad. There's some people that are going um, in the military. So the alternative graduation that they are thinking about, they won't be here because they'll be deployed, um, supposedly, or in boot camp. So I feel bad for those kids who don't have an opportunity. I know there's some kids that will be in college by the time we have the graduation. So they can't say, you know, you buy college, I'm going back to high school pr practically to get my diploma. And, you know, there's been guidance counselors that have reached out, you know, to help us with our diplomas saying, you know, you want a special stamp on your diploma for X, Y, and Z, you know, send the requirements that we need to um, know about, and then we'll put it on your diploma. So th there's, there's teachers, there's faculty out here helping the kids and I think sometimes we're so caught up in the negative about things that we don't really look at the positive so I just really hope that people do look at the positive four years you made it don't get discouraged because you know you can't walk across a straight stage there's other ways to you know get recognized I try to recognize and every time I see somebody post you know hey I'm going to this school I'm like oh my god that's so great I hope you you know you enjoy yourself be careful that type of thing but it's all about being positive and a not so positive situation. Right. Absolutely right. Well, Jalen, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. You're a very impressive young lady. You have a huge heart, obviously. Uh, and uh, we wish you all the best in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.